Hello everyone, this is General Hand Grenade. Welcome to my war room in Prince George, British Columbia. This is Operation Crimson Tide. We are in July of 1940, which means that uh, I'm not the only one that can build tanks anymore. <laughs> Up till now, uh, the Germans were the only ones that could build tanks and mechanized infantry, but now the rest of the nations on the board can, if they so wish. Uh, so that's a bit of a game changer. Now, in the last round, there wasn't a lot happened. Like, uh, a lot of people just moved stuff around or put units on. Even though the, the war has begun, everybody is just kind of posturing, right? Like, getting ready for their attacks. And uh, this in this uh, video, I am actually going to make a, a number of attacks. Let me see. One, two, three four five six i think uh most of them sub related though so uh let's get started i'm just going to do a couple of combat moves down here as i've been doing in every video so that i can go up to the uh the other side of the table and we can get into it okay so let's come down here so uh i've got a sub in c zone 114 down here he is going to go up here to C zone 105 and then down over here let's set this down I've got a sub in C zone 123 he is going to go to C zone 86 and both of those guys are going to be convoying those uh, lines there is another attack down here and this time it's the Vichy so we are going to take the Vichy sub that is in C zone 151 He's going to go down to C zone 81 and he's going to attack these two free French boats. And also, you can just see up in the corner of the screen here, this fighter is going to come down one, two, three. So he can still go two spaces. There we go. So those two units are going to attack those two French boats. Now, let's go up to the other side of the board. We'll go down up there slowly so you can take a look around, see what's going on. Lots happening up in, uh, these guys are in Malaya. Lots happening up in China there. The Americans, they are just about, at, they're at uh, income level 34. So at 35, they can finally start moving their units around. So let's just keep going. Let's take a look over here. You can see those two subs there. And there's uh, some subs over here. They're going to they're gonna go and do some attacks this turn. Let's set this down. There we go. Let's move the turn caddy in. You know what? I'm going to close my door here because, as you can hear a second ago, my phone's dinging out there. I don't want to turn it off, but at the same time, I don't want to be disturbed. Okay, so there's the turn caddy. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I got to get my dice tray in here as well. Okay. So. Same deal as before. We're going to do basically the same things. We have got the technology up here. And you can see the numbers I need to get those technologies. In this turn, we're going to be going for uh, long-range aircraft, radar, improved factories, mechanized infantry, uh, heavy strategic bombers. And you can see the ones way over on the right there. These are the ones that I've finished developing. I've got wartime income and improved shipyards. So these dice correspond to those dice. I guess before I roll, I'll tell you what's going on here. So these are the units that I'm purchasing tentatively. It might change, but probably not, depending on whether or not I roll improved factories. But I think that's probably what's going what's gonna to stay. So you see the units here. There's the blue division. There's just a couple of infantry and a marine. Uh, there's three medium tanks, three... Uh, mechanized infantry, three um, cavalry. Uh, this is a free sub here. That's the last one I get. And then I've purchased these two subs. I've got a transport. I'm moving along. You can see the number two there uh, moving this battleship along. This is the one that starts the game on, on stage three. He's moving up to stage two. And I'm then leasing the Vichy one infantry. I've got my dice for the wartime economy and I've got a spy to roll as well. And we're going to roll that spy right after we do the technology roll. So, technology. 
these dice correspond to the other dice. Okay, holy crap, that's a good roll. I think I got everything but the um, the heavy strategic bombers. So, um, so we got long range aircraft, radar, uh, long range aircraft, that goes to stage four. Radar goes to stage three. What else we got there? Improved construction, or sorry, improved factories goes to stage four. I already have improved construction at stage four. And seven, uh, yeah, that's uh, mechanized infantry. So that goes to, or sorry, advanced mechanized, it's called. So that goes to stage three. All right, that looks good. I like that, that's a nice roll. I've been getting a lot of luck over there. So you can see I've finished four technologies now. Long range aircraft, wartime economy, improved factories, and improved construction. On uh, stage three, I have advanced mechanized, radar, and that's it. Man, those heavy bombers have proved to be elusive for me. That's the second time I've rolled an eight on them. Okay, let's, uh, let's roll for that spy now. Let's get him going. Come on. Now, if I can get a three or less, then the spy down in Chile will take two IPP off of the Americans and give them two. Yeah, look at that. I got it finally. So that's a two. Um, so the Germans steal two bucks from the Americans. And where are they now? Uh, here we are. Let me just go get that money. Five. So I gra grab 10, steal two. So the Americans are down to 34 IPP. Um, I don't think I get to spend this money this time. I'm pretty sure I don't because my turn has already begun. So that just is just gonna go into the German bank. And before I forget, I'm gonna write it down up here by two. Excellent. So far, so good. I like the way this turn's starting out. Uh, is there anything else we need to do over here? That roll, that roll comes later. Okay. So let's get our dice out. I'm not going to need a battle board because these attacks are pretty simple. So, you know, like not a lot of terrain and stuff like that, right? Okay. So, let me just set this down so I can pick it up with the other hand. Now these two subs here um, in C zone three are gonna go one, two, three. They're gonna go to C zone 32. Now I was looking and kind of weird, but in the Canada War expansion, I thought that you would be a wolf pack, but apparently you're only a wolf pack if you're in different C zones. So it counts up the number of C zones, not the number of submarines, which seems kind of weird, but that's the way it is. That's the, it's worded pretty clearly that way. So these th three submarines that are in C zone 13 are gonna go four spaces to C zone 23, same deal. So they're not gonna get any extra pluses for being a wolf pack, even though there's three of them. Um, they're just gonna go there. Um, and then I'm gonna take this torpedo boat destroyer in C zone 13 and go one into here, two up to here is going to attack that torpedo boat destroyer. Let me just set this down here because I'm going to have to grab some planes. So I've got two planes in Bavaria. One, two, uh, wait a minute, sorry. One, two, three. So they, they can go two spaces. And then I've got one fighter in Western. So he's gonna go one, two. So he can go three spaces after this. So that torpedo boat destroyer is as good as dead. <laughs> okay, let me just look at my piece of paper here, make sure I got them all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, the Vichy, got it, okay. So those are my combat moves this round. Yeah, so let's get to combat then. All right, okay. Let's start out with that one there, uh, that uh, convoy, and then we'll move to that one over there. 
Uh, both of them are regular subs and there's no added defense. And so uh, it'll be plus two for the submarine. The black dice with the pink, that'll be the sub and the orange dice will be the defending convoy line. So this one is for the line, uh, the FEC line down there. So five and five, so plus two. So two off the FEC. I will go and mark that. <laughs> That's the first time I haven't taken maximum with that sub. And while I'm over here, I might as well just take two bucks off the FEC. Where's their money? There it is. So the FEC is down to 15 IPP. Okay. Now we're going after the UK money in C zone 105. Again, going to be plus two. And did not get that one. That one was a big miss. Okay. So now I'm going to go into C zone 32, which has two submarines in it. So there will be two separate attacks, uh, plus two on the submarine. And the maximum I can take is six IPP. Here we go. So five, six, seven, and one. Okay, I'm done there. Because so, uh, six is the maximum that I can take. I'll mark that. Before I take the money off the British, I'm just going to try to convoy that other line because it'll be added to that. So I've got three subs in C zone 23. Uh, plus two, okay, that's a miss. Okay, I got another sub. Uh, five, six, seven, and one, so six. And the maximum I can do there is five, so I don't need to roll the other sub. There we go. I am done convoy rating. So that means that's 11 IPP off the British. They just collected 10 IPP on wartime economy. So that is good. Uh, where's the British money? There it is. So 10, 11, they are down to 25 IPP. Okay. Now I've just got the two attacks left. So we'll get rid of these dice. Okay, I've got a Vichy sub and a Vichy fighter. So the black one will be the sub and the blue one will be the fighter. And it's not first strike because they're attacking a destroyer. Okay, so one hit. That means they're going to lose both of them. So now I am going to roll for the destroyer 12 that's a miss so both the vichy destroyer and transport come off the board they're done okay on the other one we have uh, a torpedo boat destroyer and three fighters going against a torpedo boat destroyer so Okay, I got him twice. So then he rolls back. He's a two or less. And he misses. So, not a bad turn. I did fail to take off four IPP. But still, I didn't lose any units yet. <laughs> I'm sure he's going to be hunting those subs. Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's flip this around. We've got to do our non-combat moves. Let me just check my piece of paper again. Combat, okay, non-combat, right. So that Vichy fighter is going to go two spaces into Syria. And the subs can't move. Um, okay, I got to fly my fighters back. Now all of these fighters can make it back to Western Germany. So they're all go I'm going to put them over on the task force marker. I have a task force marker for Western Germany. There we go. Get rid of these fuel gauge markers. Okay. Non-combat moves. 
Um, let's get the rail movement out of the way first. I'm going to take a mountain infantry from Paris. He's going to rail to Yugoslavia. I'm going to take one armor from Paris and one medium armor from Western Germany. They are going to rail to Romania. Uh, where are we? There they are. Okay. Um, knocking stuff over here. Okay, uh, one more rail movement. Which one was it? Uh, I had it all set up. Um, I'll take one infantry from Western Germany and rail him to Bavaria. So that's it for my rail movement. Okay, now regular non-combat movement. Let's move these artillery over there. I have to set up some kind of a defense because at any time the Russians could go after me, right? So let's move this guy over here and this guy over here. Those are two light armor that I'm moving from Warsaw to Donalaski and Western Poland. I'll move the infantry from Western Poland up to Warsaw. Okay, and then I will move three infantry from Eastern Germany to Western Poland and two infantry from Eastern Germany to Donalaski. Um, I'll move an artillery, or sorry, no, I always call them artillery, a cavalry. I'll walk over one, two spaces to Yugoslavia from Bohemia, as they can go two spaces in the mountains. The air transport in Berlin is going to take this infantry one, two, three, and he's going to go back to Berlin. So let's put that down. I'm going to move the motorized infantry from Yugoslavia to uh, Romania. And I will move the fighter from Hungary to Romania. I will move one of the infantry from Hungary to Yugoslavia and one to Romania because there was two of them there. So let's just do this. That there. And where, what would I do with that other one? I sat it down somewhere. Did I already put them in there? I don't think I did. No. Uh, oh, I took them off, I think, there. If I screw this up, I'll, I'll see on the video later. So that should be five infantry there now, and three in Yugoslavia. Um, okay, I got two infantry in Bohemia. I'm going to move them to Don Alaski. So I'll just put. I'll just change this one. That sculpt there to a chip and move the two guys up. Okay. Um, I'm going to move one infantry from Eastern Germany up to uh, sorry, one in, in, from infantry from Western Germany up to Belgium and oh, there's that chip. 
I knew it was somewhere. Uh, this is in here. Just trying to get all this stuff straight here. Okay. Hmm. I think I'll move this coastal sub from C zone 13 to C zone 12. Um, what C zone is this one? Jeez, Avi. Doesn't have a name. Oh. No, let's go to. I can go two spaces. Let's go to C zone 4 with the coastal sub from C zone 13. This one is in here. Um, that looks like it. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's put the stuff on then. Okay, so I've got a Marine and an infantry going into Western Germany. I've got the Blue Division going into Berlin. I've got an infantry going into uh, Paris. Okay. Then, um, well, I guess I can double up now, can't I? So, I'm going to take, t I have two minor factories in Romania now. So, I'm going to put two, or two medium armor and two uh, mechanized infantry there. And then I'm going to place a, a medium armor in Western Germany and a mechanized infantry in Poland. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to take the three cavalry and I'm going to put them in Bohemia. I've got a single sub that I'm going to put in C zone 34 outside of Aquitaine. I've got two subs that I'm going to put in C zone 151 outside of Yugoslavia. Uh, with improved construction, you can put two units at a minor uh, shipyard. I'm going to move my battleship up to stage two. And the last thing, or actually two more things, uh, I'm going to put a transport down here and uh, my in Vichy infantry. I'll just take a chip there. That has to go in southern France. Okay, now um, I'm also annexing Bulgaria. So I need the infantry. Uh, let's just take one of these cavalry and a German roundel. And that means the Germans will go up to 47 IPP on the turn tracker. 
Okay. So let me recap where everything is before. Well, no, I better do the Vichy roll first because things could change, I guess, if I get my Vichy roll. Um, so here we go. The Vichy roll. I need a one because I don't have Corsica anymore. Nine. Just a slight miss. I might as well roll my wartime economy while I'm here. 11. That's even better than last time. Awesome. Gotta love it. All right. Territory has gone up to 47. Uh, so 56, 58, 63. Okay. 74 and uh, let's have that too 50 60 70 uh, 76 so I'm I'll be collecting 76 IPP and I will recap everything now uh, let me just take you over to the money first I've already showed you the tech chart so um I think these are correct, but I'm not going to go over them because they might not be, and um, it doesn't really matter. What I do know is I'm at three for the Vichy and 47 for the Germans. So here's a breakdown of my income. I have 47 IPP plus six for a bonus, three for the Vichy, two for the Spy this turn, five for the Molotov Rip and Trot Pack, and 11 for wartime income. Let's add that up again. That's 53, 56, 58. 63 74 yeah there we go nice okay so we have a sub down there in c zone whatever that is uh can't see it very well but you can see it there uh we've got the sub over there in c zone 105 we've got two subs in c zone 32 three subs in c zone 23 one sub just outside of Aquitaine. Aqu uh, we've got two subs in 151 just off the coast of Yugoslavia. We've got a coastal sub up here in C Zone 4. And we've got two transports, a torpedo boat destroyer, a uh, coastal defense ship, a destroyer, and a light cruiser in C Zone 15. We've got a torpedo boat destroyer in C zone 14. Now let's set this down. Okay. In uh, Romania, we have four medium armor, two, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, sorry, four medium armor, two, um, mechanized infantry, one motorized infantry, three artillery, five infantry, two fighters, and two um, tactical bombers. In Bulgaria, we have two infantry and a cavalry. In Yugoslavia, we have a mountain infantry, three infantry, two cavalry. In Bohemia, we've got three cavalry. In Donalaski, we have four infantry, um, a light armor, and an artillery. In Western Poland, we have three infantry and uh, uh, light armor. In, Eastern, in East Prussia, we have two infantry. In Warsaw, we have two infantry, a mechanized infantry, three medium armor, and an artillery. In Berlin, we have an infantry, uh, airborne infantry, uh, anti-aircraft artillery and a transport plane. In Western Germany, we have three fighters, one medium bomber, one artillery, one medium armor, um, four, is that? Yeah, that's four Marines and three infantry. In Paris, we have three infantry, four artillery, one anti-aircraft artillery, one fighter, one medium armor. In Picardy, we have one infantry. 
In Belgium, we have a Marine, an Infantry, and two Artillery. I'm looking around. I think I, I think I got all the territories there. So that's what I've done, and I've showed you everything. Uh, yeah, I, I did tell you about the coastal. Just looking around. Okay, let me take a look at my piece of paper. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Okay, that looks good. Good turn. I like that. Um, that wartime economy just capped it all off at the end there. Uh, 74 that's almost as much as I got when I um, when I stole the French money anyway that's it for my turn for Germany on July of 1940 take care everyone general hand grenade out